Hello everyone, in this new tutorial we will look into how to create stop motion animation effects easily in Blender using a free add-on key mesh. The way it works is that we will create keyframes which can save different types of object mesh changes on each frame that we can use to make our animation. You can download the add-on from Gumroad, I have added links in the video description. Install the add-on like any other add-on. I am using Blender 4.0. Now let's see how Keymesh works. We need some object to start with. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Next I will split the editor viewport from the lower side and set the timeline window in it so we can see our animation keyframes here that we will create. Press N to open the side panel. Go in the Animate tab. Here you can see Keymesh add-on. The Frame Step property is used to set the amount of frames to skip when inserting keyframes. I will change it to 5, but you can set any other value as well. The next line has the Insert Keyframe buttons. With the UV Sphere object selected, click the Insert button. This will create our first keyframe. It will be added below in the frame panel. It shows the name of the object and keyframe number where it is created. In this case, it is 1. You can see the keyframe in the timeline window as well. Click the insert button once more. This will create our second keyframe. You can check it in the frame panel list and also in the timeline window. You can see there is a 5 frame gap which we set earlier. Now with the second frame selected, go in edit mode. Any object mesh changes, scaling, moving, sculpting you will make will be saved in this keyframe. I will select all points. Using the transform tool, I will scale down the object size along Z axis and move it down also. Exit the edit mode. If we go to the first keyframe and then to the next one, you can see how changes are saved. You can use up or down arrow keys to move between frames in the timeline. It is important to keep in mind that changes we are making are in the edit mode, not in object mode. Add another keyframe and reduce the scale more. The three keyframes now store different mesh data in the same object. Let's add another keyframe. This time, switch to sculpt mode. Using the grab brush, I will make some changes to the object shape. You can see all keyframes store different changes that we are making. If you need to add some other object or maybe something you have already modeled and now you want to make it part of this animation, for example, like a cylinder, move to the keyframe where it is going to be added. First select the new object, shift click the original object, right click and join them. This cylinder will become part of the mesh at that keyframe. In this way, you can easily add or remove objects when creating animations if you need to. I will make the timeline small so we can play the animation loop faster. We can also reuse any previous keyframes. Add a new keyframe and then you can click the pin button which will add the object data on the selected keyframe. One thing to note here is that do not make any changes in the mesh as they are linked and will update wherever these keyframes are used. Whenever you are adding keyframes, sometimes extra keyframe data may be getting saved which we no longer needed. You can click the remove button to clean up the keyframes. In the add-on there is a tool available which allows you to split the keyframes into separate objects. 
you can set some values here like offset or axis this can be useful in some cases where you further want to refine individual objects or maybe later join them back all of these objects are added in a new collection the original object is still there with all the keyframes we can duplicate any key mesh object as well it will have the same mesh data in it you can change the position of the keyframes delete or add new keyframes as well just keep in mind that keyframes are linked if you make any change it will be updated on both objects to have different key mesh data in case of duplicated objects first remove the keyframe you need to change and insert a new keyframe for that object in that way your changes will be independent Make sure to save your file here. While you can use the remove button to delete any unused key mesh data, one more optimization you can do here is go in the orphan data view, open the meshes panel. Here you will be able to see all the objects which we created and some are no longer needed. These are different from the key mesh data. They will be indicated with an empty shield icon. You can click the purge button to remove them. It will show a message of what will be removed from the blend file. This may also include unused materials. Click on it to perform the operation. Now let's look into the process of creating a simple flower animation effect like this one. It is always better to plan your animation before or just create a quick block out sketch. It will make the process much easier. You can always edit and add changes later. For instance, in this flower sequence, I created some main shapes before making the animation and simply reused these objects. I will start with a UV sphere object and smooth shade it. Next, I will make it small and apply the transform scale. This will become our first shape. Insert a keyframe for it. Add another keyframe. Now in the edit mode, I will increase the scale of the object and move it up slightly. In the third keyframe, I will switch to the sculpt mode. Turn on symmetry so changes are updated on opposite sides as well. Using the grab brush, I will sculpt over the top part to have a more bigger area. In the edit mode, increase the scale and move the entire object, just keeping it above the grid. In the fourth keyframe, I will slightly increase the size more. In the sculpt mode, push the top part shape out and move the middle part in. I will slightly speed up the video at it is mostly adding objects, increasing the size, sculpting to build shapes at different keyframes. With a little practice, you can easily do it as well. You can use any other way to create your model. You don't really have to follow my exact steps shown here. To add any material, switch to the material preview, create a green color material. One thing I missed here was to assign a material at the very first keyframe which we created. Since each key mesh frame can be assigned a different material, we will have to apply it on every frame. I will add one more pink color material and apply it for the petals.
you can also add any modifiers on the key mesh objects as well however it will be applied on all keyframes for example here i added a one level subdivision modifier to smooth the shapes more and easily sculpt them from here you can continue working on this or make your own stop motion animation effects this may look similar to shape keys in blender but key mesh works quite differently you can add delete or entirely change object topology in the keyframe Key mesh also works with text objects, materials, curves and most of other types in Blender. I have added some video links in the description below from other users showing different key mesh examples. Maybe you can also get some ideas. And this completes the tutorial. I hope you find this video useful in some way. If you like to see more in the future, please consider subscribing, giving this video a like and turn on notification bell for future videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.